I am honored and humbled to address you on this International Day of Ceasefire and Nonviolence and from afar to celebrate the Peace Day concert in Goma. I'm especially thankful to our brothers and sisters of Goma and the authorities of the Democratic Republic of, of the Congo for allowing this event to take place on Congolese soil and particularly in the North Kivu province. The Peace One Day initiative has brought so many people together with a shared hope and common vision for peace and development in the Democratic Republic of Congo and the Great Lakes region. Special thanks to Jeremy Gile and his team for making this event possible. As for the world-renowned musician Akon and regional artists who have joined in today's celebrations, to give it a special note, your commitment to peace is equally praised. As musicians, your appeal to the youth and to people of all walks of life is so strong that there could be no a better way to celebrate this day in Goma, the capital of Eastern DRC. I also want to express my deepest gratitude to those who need no introduction. The UN Special Representative in the DRC, dear colleague Martin Kobler, the Force Commander of MONUSCO, General Alberto Carlos dos Santos, Cruz and all the heads of UN agencies and affiliate organizations working tirelessly for peace in the country. Thank you all for lending your voice and sharing your passion for the cause of peace. You all, you are all gathered in Goma today because you care and you want peace to prevail over conflict in the Democratic Republic of the Congo and in the region. You are gathered today because you want stability and development for the people of the DRC and the region. Even though I am not physically with you in Goma, I am inspired by the turnout of great numbers at today's event. As special envoy of the Great Lakes for the Great Lakes region, I have the responsibility to work with the leaders of the Great Lakes countries to help find the lasting peace for this beautiful region. My mandate focuses on the peace, security and cooperation framework for the DRC and the Great Lakes region that was signed by the heads of state of the countries in the Great Lakes region in Addis Ababa on 24th February 2013. And that this framework, the signatory parties have made serious and important commitments that if adhered to, we lead this region to lasting peace greater respect for human rights and social and economic development. I have only recently taken on this responsibility, but already I can see that the leaders of this region are committed to promoting lasting peace and stability. My predecessor, Special Envoy Mary Robinson, called this as a framework of hope for the people of the Democratic Republic of the Congo and the region. I share her hope that if we all work together this framework will lead us to comprehensive and lasting peace. I and my office will continue to work with all the leaders of the region, as well as with key stakeholders, including women, youth, religious leaders, academics, and civil society, to ensure that the peace, security, and cooperation framework has the support of all parties and to ensure all that all are engaged in moving it forward. With women and youth under 25 comprising more than half of the population in this region in large ways and small, we must all make our voices heard. More than, even bef more than ever before, peace requires dialogue and understanding, not just among the leaders of the signatory countries of the framework of hope, but among all people of the region. I wish you a great celebration for peace and look forward to working with the people of the Great Lakes to have peace every day of the year. Thank you for your attention.